Xin chào. Uh, I'm going to get run over by bikes and everything. Uh, someone asked me a question in the comments the other day, or yesterday, about uh, their location and is it a good location to be in, in Da Nang. Look, I'm no expert uh, on Da Nang. Uh, I have been here for three months in total. I'm not like some of the other experts that have been here for a week and know absolutely every nook and cranny of uh, Da Nang. But uh, let's just go for a walk and uh, just see you know, what the area is like around here and uh, some of my observations. This is the place they're staying at. It's uh, looking very nice. I quite like it. And balconies. And this is what you can expect uh, out front of the accommodation. If you go down there and turn right, you're going to walk into the beach. And if you keep walking ahead on this road, this will take you down to uh, the centre of Da Nang Beach. That's what I call it. That's like the tourist area. This is the accommodation that they're looking at, the Sala Da Nang Beach Hotel. I'm pretty sure I've got it right. And that have fantastic beach views. This area here is probably about 15 minute walk uh, to where all the bars and clubs are. And of course in this street, you're just going to find more coffee houses, you know, places to eat and drink and all that sort of stuff. There's no, there's no bars here really where, you know, you can go out and sort of, uh, you know, get on it. But, you know, uh, if you want that stuff, you have to walk all the way down there. Sorry for the wind, there's just nothing I can do about it. So I'm going to now go back on the Esplanade and we're just going to walk down that way so you can just see. And like from that, from your accommodation, the Sala to the beach, that is probably what, 200 metres if you can cut through the buildings. And here we are right on the Esplanade. I just want to say this video has kind of been shot in this morning and now it's uh, lunchtime, so it's a bit all over the place. It's very quiet. Uh, lunchtime, midday, it's always very quiet on the beach because it's pretty hot and people are probably just chilling out or eating beautiful white sand here. You will find bars up and down the esplanade here where you can uh, drop in for a soft drink, sin chow, or you get a beer or whatever and you can just chill out here and just really enjoy the afternoon. Come on, thank you, thank you, come on. I don't know if you can see the sign behind me, Mai Kai. This is just one of the beaches. I mean, it's all the same beach, but from Uricom to here, you're looking at probably a five minute walk, if that. Another funky little bar just to chill out. I love this little one, it's tiny. But look at that beautiful location looking right over the Nang Beach and the water. Xin chào. As you can see, I'm right down the end for what I call the end of where I guess all these big buildings kind of stop. And if you just sort of go over to here, there is a bar here, I think it's called Beach Bar or something. And then further down here, more hotels starting to pop up and obviously if you keep going that's off to uh, Hoi An. I think if you wanted to stay like right in the heart of uh, Da Nang Beach and the tourist district, this is kind of what I call the heart of it. You know, you have the Eden Hotel, the Balcona, uh, the Rosalmia Hotel. And in behind there are bars and clubs and, you know, restaurants and all that sort of thing. But I mean, this is the thing with Da Nang. It spills out all the way along the coast. I'll just get over to here. It's just not located to this area. It goes all the way down there. So if you just really just don't want to walk too far, well, you just stay here. Okay. But as I've just said before, it's not that far just to walk along this esplanade. Uh, all the way down there to that big building, you know, it's like 15, let's say 30 minutes max. It's nothing at all. Also, in this area, I believe for me, it's the cleanest uh, part of the beach. It seems like they come through and clean this beach daily. This is my favourite spot to come swimming. They have lifeguards here, which is great as well. And there's lots of areas which are, uh, which are all kind of fenced off, I call it, with these yellow buoys all the way along. So you're safe to swim in here. In actual fact, I'm just about to hit the water right now. And there's the Sala from this side, and I'll just go down the beach and get another view from the other side. And there's the Sala from the other side. It's in a great location, uh, beautiful views right over the beach of Da Nang. There's a wide shot for you. And as you can see, right underneath is all these beautiful palm trees and loads of our deck chairs and umbrellas for you to sit under. Okay, I found a pool table for you. It's right here. And I'll just show you the name of this place. This is uh, quite a nice place to hang out in. 
It's uh, really undercover. It's not on the beach side, but it's uh, it's good enough. It's pretty quiet at the moment. Everyone's down the beach or having a siesta, but there you go, pool table. There's a place across the road here. I think it's called Bottegar 5. I've never been in there, but that looks very nice. Upstairs, middle section. They obviously sell a uh, nice cold beer and food. My intention was to walk around and show you all these spots, but I've completely failed. Um, but you get an idea of uh, where Eurocom is to kind of where this, uh, this whole tourist thing is, where the bars are, the bars are behind me, and just all around the place. But outside of that, I think your location is very good. Uh, it's not in, the, in this tourist area here. It's in the quiet area. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I actually stay uh, just near the sala, and it's very quiet, it's very, very local but um, it suits me down to the ground. So yeah, just look, this is just a very quick vid just to show you where you are and in the vicinity of everything. Hopefully I've answered uh, the question. If not, I do apologize. Okay, catch you later. I'm going to Gin Gin for something to eat.